Eric Ten Hag is the right man to lead Man United back to the promised land. So, I think hate is too strong a word. I'm not going to say hate, but I don't like this take. We're I, Machiavellian I, I here, Augie. It's Machiavelli. It's yeah. love or hate, man. Which is better? Come on. Don't sit yeah. offense. I'm on the dark side then. Let's go with that way. There we I, go. I, listen, I, I don't see Eric Ten Hag as being the long-term answer for Man United. I, I think for that job, to be successful in that job, you need to have a personality and a charisma to be bigger than the manager. And I think he doesn't have that in his locker. And, and we have to look at results as well. You know, results are a big thing. Out of the Champions League at the group stage, he's fallen out with some of his big players, Jadon Sancho and Marcus Rashford, for different reasons. And he's got a six-point gap to get in the Champions League behind Tottenham. So it's difficult to see United get in the Champions League next season. And when this summer comes, he'll have one year left in his contract. Now, that's the key for me because new owners or new 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 bosses, shall we say, they will either have to say to him, look, you're our guy, we're going to extend your contract. They can't go into next season with, with Ten Hag running his contract there because it, it shows a lack of faith in the coach. But equally, why back the guy if they're not sure about him? So if I was in Eos and Jim Radcliffe, I'd be thinking, if he gets us into the Champions League, then OK, we'll, we'll back him. But if not, he goes. And I think they have to spend this time now, between now and the end of the season, trying to identify who the the best coaches out there are because I think there are better coaches out there than Eric Ten Hag. You know, his team can't defend very well. His attacking talent doesn't deliver as much as it should do. I'm just not convinced watching Man United. And he's had nearly two years in it now to actually get it right. So I think this summer, Eric Ten Hag has to leave Man United. I don't think he's the man for the job. LME? Yeah, I'm with Augie here. The, the, the problem about this question here is that it depends what you're talking about when you're talking about the promised land. If you're talking about a European spot, okay, I can see Manchester United getting a European spot. But like Augie said, a Champions League spot when Man City and Liverpool fighting for that title alongside Arsenal. And of course, that fourth spot is still being in debate between Tottenham, Villa and others. Do you see Manchester United climbing to a Champions League spot when it's so congested? I'm not so sure. And I'm with him on the other point about you need a manager for Manchester United that gives you an or The worst thing that ever happened to Manchester United was the best thing that happened to Manchester United and Sir Alex Ferguson because replacing him is impossible. And when you replace somebody like that, you're not only trying to transform a club, you're trying to create an absolute champion, which is what Manchester United were in the 90s and the early 2000s. So you need somebody, if you want to win it all, if you, want, if you want to call the promised land the title and compete with the likes of Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, etc., then I'm sorry to say you need somebody bigger in terms of personality or a, somebody that commands the dressing room. Because I tell you what, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but let's say Sinedine Zidane became the manager mm -hmm. of Manchester United. The problems with Jadon Sancho wouldn't happen. The problems with other players wouldn't happen. That's the kind of manager that Manchester United needs if you want to reach the likes of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool, or even, as they're going upwards, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. LME, I got to say, this is, this is where Man United is, that if, you, if you, were, you were saying, what's the promised land and talking about a top four spot, no, this is United. Like The promised land is supposed to be titles in every competition. So that's what we're talking about. So that's where I think... Uh, where you guys, where you, where you landed there is, is probably where a lot of fans are, but I don't think it's a, it's, it's not the wrong take in my opinion.